So this is number 11. Which of the following is equivalent to 8 over 25? So here we're going to convert a fraction to a decimal. Okay, so we have 8 over 25, and you've already done this a couple times for some of the previous problems. So here we have to remember how to set up the division. So in this case, we're looking at this, and this is 8 over 25. If it was 25 over 25, we know that that number would be equal to 1. So we know that this number is going to be less than 1. So in this case we know to put the numerator inside the house. So the numerator goes inside the house and the denominator goes outside the house. Okay, now let's put the decimal in there so we remember the place. Now we're dealing with the 25 times tables. Now this one, you might think that's hard until I tell you that you know that there's 25 cents in a quarter. So let's just do a couple of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now that's more than I think we're gonna need, but what the heck, right? Okay, so we know that there's 25 pennies in a quarter. So if we have one quarter, that's the same as 25 pennies. If we have two quarters, that's the same thing as 50 cents. Three quarters would equal 75 cents. Four quarters would equal 100 cents or a dollar. Five quarters, we're going to just add 25 to it, so it's 125, and look, it's just repeating itself. So then the next one is going to be 150, 175, two dollars, etc. So these are your 25 times tables. One times 25, two times 25, three times 25, four times 25, etc. So. 25 goes into 80, Oop, too small, too small, too small, too big, so it's 75, so that's 3. So 3 times 25 is 75, 80 minus 75 is 5, 0. Now I'm going to bring down a 0, and then I look at my, th my times table over here and I say, oh, 50. 50. We're done because it's perfect. So when you're doing division, as soon as you get a zero down here, you're done. So I look here, 0.32. That's my answer. And then I check over here and I say, oh, there it is right there.